Hi, this is Tammy with the Rusted Willow, and if you like DIYs, hauls, flips, and everything farmhouse, you are in the right place. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun on this channel. Let's jump into DIY number one. Okay, so the first DIY is going to be a rolling pin. I am taping around the handle and I am going to paint them red with my Crimson Waverly chalk paint. Okay, so after I paint the handles red, I move the tape and tape up the handle so that I can put a base coat of ink um, by Folk Art on the body of the rolling pin and the side. I use my heat gun to dry in between coats and then I just touch up here and there. I am using my Cricut and I made the words love at first bite. This is going to be a Halloween rolling pin. I used the Dollar Tree vinyl for this and the letters did not want to peel away from the paper, the backing of the paper. So um, anyway, I had a little bit of trouble with it. I'm giving this a base coat of plaster and then I go over it my final coat with white. And now I am just peeling up the letters to reveal the black underneath. I love this reverse stencil technique. I use it all the time. It's my preferred method. Now I am just distressing the rolling pin to get some of that black to show through. And guys, I only gave this two coats and I was having a heck of a time getting the distressing on this rolling pin. So now I take the crimson and I water some down and I splatter it. To make it look like blood. <laughs> anyway, I think it turns out super cute. I am also going back with some black and I didn't rinse my brush out and when I mixed the black it turned to kind of a burgundy, a darker red and it looked more like blood. So if this is too gory for you then look away. I'm sorry. Um, but I think it turned out super cute and it's for your tiered tray. I add some black and white checkered ribbon from Dollar Tree and some jute and then I added a bow and this DIY is done. Okay guys, this is the DIY fall challenge with Heidi Sumble and she changed the date to the fourth. But here's Heidi's channel and if you have not checked out her channel yet, make sure you go over and check out Heidi's channel. There will be a lot of great creators in this fall DIY challenge, and I am always so excited to watch. Okay guys, let's get into the next DIY. Okay, I am doing another rolling pin. I had these rolling pins that I had thrifted, and I need to get them upcycled. I am painting this one in the beautiful color Agave. If you have not seen my last video, where I made the pumpkin out of two little baskets in agave. Oh my goodness. I am just in love with how it turned out. It is gorgeous. So then I go over the agave with the dark wax, with the antiquing wax by Waverly. And I love this technique. So then I put it on with a baby wipe and the baby wipe takes too much off. So I go back in with a little bit more 
and it dries super quick. Now I'm going in with some white wax. I love the white wax over the dark wax. Oh my gosh, guys, it gives it such an awesome patina and just, I, I can't even describe to you how beautiful of a finish it gives your items. I, I just love it. And you can go as dark or as light as you want with the dark wax, or I'm sorry, with the antiquing wax. Now I use the font, now see, it pulled up some of my paint. I use the font um, Ray Dunn Bold. I purchased it off of Etsy and downloaded it to my Cricut. So now I am just distressing the rolling pin and I also distress over the vinyl because I don't want it to look too shiny when the rest of the rolling pin is distressed. And now I am going to make a messy bow for this rolling pin. I just cut all my ribbon to about the same length. I'm not precise with this and if I'd have been thinking I would have cut like two or three pieces of each ribbon instead of going back and forth, but it's fine. I just grab some ribbon and cut it and put it in a pile. Guys, if you have not hit that subscribe button, please do so. If you see something on here that inspires you, I hope you will make it and tag me on Instagram. And that is the messy bow. I added some jute. I am dovetailing my ends. I am fluffing the bow because I do a lot of fluffing. A lot of fluffing of bows, a lot. All right, on to DIY number three. Okay guys, this is amazing. I thrifted both those pans. The big pan was $1.99. The small pan was, I believe, 99 cents. Those, what do you call them? Okay guys, I took out the four pieces, the spindles and the cake pans, and I gave them a good coat of flat black spray paint and then I give them uh, two good coats of the white Waverly chalk paint and then I go in and I distress and I just want a little bit of black showing here and there and let me tell you on this big round pan oh my goodness I could not get it to what's it called distress like I could not get the bottom on the pan to distress like I had to get out some really high grit sandpaper it was insane so now that I got everything painted and distressed I take it outside and I give it a good coating of clear coat to seal everything so that it doesn't so that nothing will happen to it and the paint doesn't chip off and I let that dry quite a while before I handle it so now I am just taking the screw and attaching the longest spindle and it is tall Guys, this is tall from a bed frame. Amazing. A bed frame that I got for free. I bought a whole bunch at a thrift store and I forgot to tell them I wanted the bed frame for $2 is all they had on it. And I was more than willing to pay. And she's like, just take it. I'm like, what? Are you sure? Uh, it's, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. So now I am just attaching the top pie plate or tart plate, I think is what it's actually called. And it goes on just fine. My husband drilled me some pilot holes to make it easy for me and they are attached. Now I am attaching this, the, not the spindle. This is a finial. This was uh, actually the bed post, one of the bed posts on the side. When I saw this bed frame, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. It had like 18 spindles. 
and not including the bed posts or anything like that. And my husband was like, really? Seriously? We don't need a bed frame. I'm like, babe, it's not a bed frame. Those are spindles. So after I glued down this finial, I realized that it was not in the center. And when I went to move it, it ripped up all my paint because it is a non-stick pan, but easily fixed. Just put a couple more coats of white paint on there and I did touch that up. You can still see some pan through there, but I did touch it up and use some more Gorilla Glue and hot glue and you're good to go. All right guys, DIY number four, which I really don't classify as a DIY other than the fact that I spent hours making this on Canva. So this is your free printable right here. And guys, this is my frame that I use for all my printables that I get from Natalie Callahan. If you have not seen Design to the Nines, you need to go over to her channel. I will link it down below in the description box. But she gives you these beautiful printables that you can print out at Staples or Office Depot. I couldn't think of the name. Anyway, all of these are hers and she gave them away for free. Like she gave them to us for free. And I made these two and one of them is a sneak peek coming up and um, I made the harvest. I saw a sign like this somewhere. I can't remember where exactly if it was antique farmhouse. I think it was antique farmhouse. Anyway, I saw something like this similar and I wanted to recreate it and I am offering it to you for free down below. And I printed these out actually at Walgreens. They were having a sale, which I learned about on Natalie's channel. And she said, guys, go use your coupon. Go print these out, go use your coupon. Girl, I did it. I went to Walgreens and I used my coupon and I printed them out. I think they were actually a little over $5 with tax, but it was awesome. So thanks for the tip, Natalie. So here is my tear tray. There's those stone hearts that I got in my last haul. I will link that in the cards above. I always say in the cards below or above below. <laughs> it's only above. The cards are above. I hope you like these DIYs and guys if you would please subscribe if you've gotten this far and don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends and family I really appreciate you all coming by and spending some time with me today and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your weekend and don't forget to ring that little bell for notifications every time I post a new video and I will have another one coming up tomorrow and here are some more videos that you might like as well. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.